Well, when you are in a career for many, many years, you may think, you know what, I'm stuck there, this is my lot in life, but not so. Reinventing your path is something that anyone could do at any age. And um, Adam Markell does know because he's done that. You spent, you were telling me you are an award-winning author. We've got your book right here, Pivot, and you were a teacher first, a lawyer for many years, and then you said, you were feeling a calling to do something more meaningful. Thank you, Renee. Yeah, I mean, mostly I was feeling like my life was just sort of spinning out of control. You know, lots of plates spinning, very busy. Um, but every day I'd wake up in the morning, I had a anxiousness, you know, just feeling of dread even about the day ahead because I didn't love what I did. And I was mostly just doing it for money. And I think it's a lot of, a lot of what people experience in life when they get to a certain point is, you know, they... They're, they're there and they're doing things almost on autopilot, but yet their heart is telling them and sending them signs that maybe uh, this is not their ultimate calling in life. You pivoted into doing something now you love, where you teach seminars, you do uh, a lot of empowerment coaching. Let's start off with giving people maybe three tips. If somebody's watching today and they're saying, you know what? Man, Adam, I, I get it. I'm doing what I do for the money, and I don't wake up and love it. What are some small changes that somebody could make to get them on a path of a pivot? Yeah, thank you. It's a great question. So the first thing you have to do is be curious. I mean, I think many people are going down this road where they're almost feeling like they're going to have a crisis. And I don't look at midlife as an age thing. I think when, when you're on that path of maybe on a midlife crisis, what really is happening is you're asking questions that you can't answer. So for me, what that looked like, I was having trouble sleeping at night. So I know a lot of people have trouble sleeping at night or waking up feeling anxious or being you know easy to anger and those kinds of things. And so what I thought I'd do and what a lot of my peers did was just put your head down, work harder, you know, it'll all work out in the end, you know, earn more money somehow to be able to retire at some point. And, and what I really discovered was that, uh, and it took a near death experience, I actually ended up in the hospital thinking I was having a heart attack, but I was really having an anxiety attack. Wow. Yeah, and it was one of those experiences that was pivotal for me, and I realized that I needed to just be curious. So the first thing I'd recommend to anybody right now is Pay attention. So if your your energy levels are dropping, you know, you need a lot of coffee or sugar to kind of get you through the day, or you're having trouble sleeping and you're having thoughts that are just kind of plaguing you, that are a little disturbing, questions you can't answer, this is perfect. I, I want to give everybody a really amazing, empowering question to ask, and that is, what's the creative opportunity in my life right now? Because it could be you don't love your job, it could be you don't love your business, or something's going on in your relationships, or even your health. And you know what? That's a, an amazing opportunity in disguise, mm -hmm. as long as you don't ignore it. You know, my heart attack thing was a, a process of kind of ignoring for more than 10 years that my heart was feeling like it was shrinking and my soul was shriveling up a bit. So really paying attention, really being curious, looking for the uh, creative outlet or sign in your universe, what would one more tip be? Yeah, Read the book because what I do is I give people 21 days of rituals, of things they can do on a daily basis. And the thing about pivot that's really important to me, and we hear pivot used in politics and so many things today, all a pivot is is making a small change in direction that over time, you know, you imagine two lines that are together and you make mm -hmm. a small, even a five degree change in direction and over time those two lines separate greatly and that creates transformation. So to me, you don't have to jump ship, you don't have to quit your job or leave your, leave your family or move to Tahiti. You make a small change, a pivot in other words, which changes everything over time. Adam Markell, thank you so much. Yeah. Just want to mention that your book, if people buy your book, they will get two free tickets to a VIP event right here in San Diego at the Sheraton Four Points. What is the website we can buy your book? That's the coolest part because timing is everything. You go to pivotbook.com, that's pivotbook.com, and you can get not only the book, and I hope that changes your life, but you get two tickets this weekend, and we're upgrading everybody to VIP. So. Wonderful. Thank you so much, and I'm glad that you're in great health and inspiring others. Great to have you Thank here you today. Thank you so much for yeah. that. Beautiful. Thank you.